Going senior, KC captain, Dunhill Williams. One, five, three, five. Corey Williams looked very impressive at 1500 meters. He's in lane five. There's Freddie Green, former competition secretary. Joe Wayne Hibbert, tall and fast from KC in lane number six. In lane seven, that's Marlon Dixon of Calabar. He knows that Calabar needs key championship points. And on the outside in red and blue of Camperdown, like Raymond Stewart, it's uh, Shavon Barnes of Camperdown on the outside. Michael? You've got your moon and gold shirt on. We must have a chance to win, but no boys in the 800 finals. No boys. They have left themselves behind again, but they look to make it up in the 200 meters after the 800 and the class two boys high jump, which is going on right now. The best, Wilma's 800 runner, Deval Ashley, anchors the medley tonight. The medley will be also play a, cri a critical part in the in these championships. All, the, all three of the top teams have a have strong teams there in the middle. Should be a vital one. The record set in the classic 1987 champs at 148.84 by Sherwin Burgess of Vertec. On the outside moving fast, Joe Wayne Hibbert of KC, also very, very fit, is his team captain, Williams, who's also in second place. On the outside, Barnes of Camperdown comes across. It's uh, Williams on the inside, 967-919 is Joe Wayne Hibbert and Siobhan Barnes of Camperdown there on the outside. Williams has started fast and uh, has tried to finish fast. Last year, his bid for the gold medal ruined by a late bout of flu and here he tries to win his last championship individual race. Williams, the KC captain. His teammate coming through, Kevin White, homeward moves into second. It's Donahue Williams. He's speeding on the first lap, 53.9. Very, very fast. Has he gone too fast, Juliet Cuthbert, on the first lap? Well, I'm sure he knows how to pace himself. He's a really good runner, so he knows that they're right behind him, and really, Casey really needs these points. The record has stood since 1987 at 148.84. Kevin White in second of homeward. One of his coaches, Seymour Newman, the national record holder, he challenges Williams with 200 to go. Williams is fast, but he is white faster. Tries to pass on the outside. That's dangerous. It's uh, Williams and White, KC and Homewood on the inside. Dunhill Williams and White gets by. It's Kevin White, the central champion, gets past the KC captain Williams. It's Kevin White, Homewood. Here comes Williams, his last race for KC at champs. Kevin White, the central champion, leads the season at 152 flat. He's speeding to the finish. White for Homewood. KC with Williams second, with Hibbert third. The winning time, 151.4 for Kevin White, the central champion. And a fabulous racer from Kevin White. Normally, I wouldn't tell any athlete to really pass anyone on the curve, but he did a brave thing there by overtaking Williams on the curve right there about the 140-meter mark. Um, coming into the 100 meters straight away and of course just really pounding and as we see here um, He's taking the lead right there and just powering right along to the finish line Fabulous run there from Kevin Williams and of course Donahue Williams Kevin White of course and Donahue Williams of Kingston College holding on to that second place position Calling his teammate to tell him come along. We need the points Key, key points here for Kingston College um, Joanne, Joanne Hebert also um, came in third year for Kingston College gather any points that KC needs. They find themselves behind here, need as much points as they can right now. Very impressive race, second and third for KC. A big run for the winner though. Kevin White, 151.4. William second, 152.4. His teammate, 153.1 in third for, for Hibbert of KC. KC second and third. Looks like Dixon of Calabar, way down the track. Seventh or eighth place. Final steps, 724, White vested. Kevin White speeds down and after that big win by Kevin White over the KC captain, we'll take a break from our coverage. We'll be right back. <laughs> 